you know that a single big ballpoint pen can draw a line that is about two kilometers, one mile long? How? Watch the video till the end to find the answer while exploring Big Ballpoint Pen's history and manufacturing process. From raw material production, stamping, injection molding, cooling, injection, and ink filling to assembly, packaging, and distribution, every step is monitored to provide the best writing experience to the customers. Wondering how did it all begin? Back in the early 1930s, a Hungarian journalist, Laszlo Baró, invented the first ballpoint pen. Burroughs pen was a significant improvement over the fountain pen, which was subject to leaking and clogging. However, it was also expensive to produce, which limited its appeal. Fast forward to 1944, an Italian-born French industrialist Marcel Big bought a factory in Clichy, France, and set up a business of manufacturing writing instrument parts with his partner, Edouard Buffard. Marcel saw the potential of the ballpoint pen and acquired the rights to Burroughs' patent for $2 million US. He set out about redesigning the pen to make it more affordable and easier to produce. Bick invested in Swiss technology to shape metal down to 0.01 millimeters. This led him to create a 1 millimeter stainless steel sphere, allowing the ink to flow freely. He also produced an ink viscosity that did not leak or clog, using the ballpoint pen patent licensed from Burrow. In 1950, Bick introduced the Bick Crystal, a disposable ballpoint pen priced at just a few cents. Low-cost plastic and inexpensive methods known as injection molding allowed for the mass production of ballpoint models, which could be marketed for less than $30. The classic hexagonal shape of big pens made them more comfortable to hold. The hexagon provided a natural grip that helped prevent the pen from slipping out of the hand and allowed the user to write swiftly. This was very handy for people writing for longer periods. The hexagonal shape also reduced the amount of plastic needed to make the pen. It required less plastic to enclose the ink reservoir and ballpoint tip than around the pen. With such characteristics, nothing could stop big ballpoints from becoming popular, and the company expanded its presence outside France and Belgium within one year. By 1954, Bic had established a presence in Italy, Netherlands, Austria, Switzerland, and Spain. Bic also marketed the pen heavily, and its distinctive blue and white packaging became instantly recognizable. The French Ministry of Education allowed using the Big Crystal in the classrooms in 1965. As a result of its characteristics and Marcel's marketing approach, the Big Crystal had become the best-selling pen in the world by the 1980s. The pen's affordability and reliability made it an essential tool for students, office workers, and others who needed a reliable writing instrument. Big was very particular about customer safety and product durability evolving significantly with changing times and demands. Polypropylene has replaced polystyrene because of its better shock absorbing ability. The shock absorption lowers the possibility of the pen cracking or splitting if dropped. The streamlined polypropylene cap of the pen has featured a small hole since 1991 to lessen the risk of choking if the cap is inhaled. By 2006, the company had sold over 100 billion Bic crystals. You will be surprised to learn that this quantity is enough to draw a line to the moon and back more than 320,000 times. The company kept expanding its business outside France, and by 2021, Bic had over 25 factories operating worldwide. Bic's manufacturing facilities are also located in North and South America, in Clearwater and St. Petersburg, Florida, Milford, Connecticut, Toronto, Canada, Guatemala City, Guatemala, and Cautitlan, Mexico. Big ballpoint pens are sold in over 160 countries worldwide. While Big does not reveal the annual revenue of its individual products, it is safe to say that Big Ballpoints heavily contribute to the company's annual revenue of $2.08 billion. Let's have a look at the different varieties of Big Ballpoint pens. Big Glide Exact Retractable Ballpoint Pen, Big Four Color Original Retractable Ball Pen, Big Glide Bold Retractable Ball Pen, Big Round Stick Extra Comfort Ballpoint Pens, 
medium point one millimeter number one selling ballpoint pens, big round stick extra life ballpoint pens, medium point one millimeter flexible round barrel for writing comfort, number one selling ballpoint pens, big crystal extra smooth ballpoint pens, big revolution ocean bound 73% recycled plastic ball pen, big revolution quick stick, big quick stick fashion retractable ballpoint pen. These ballpoint pens are available in different colors, blue, black, red, purple, pink, green, lime green, turquoise, teal, orange, and gold. Oh, we're just now getting to this part, bro. But how are big ballpoint pens manufactured? The steps of the manufacturing process can slightly differ depending on the specific model and design. But every big manufacturing facility worldwide follows the company's standardized process to maintain consistent product quality. Step one, raw materials production, plastic. The primary material used in big pens is a thermoplastic resin, typically polypropylene. The plastic pellets are melted in a hopper and shaped into the desired components using a drill. Ink compounding. Large batches of ink are made in a designated area of the manufacturing plant. The ink used in ballpoint pens is usually oil-based and is made from a mixture of solvents, dye, and fatty acids. These components are blended together using a computerized mixer. Step 2. Stamping The metal components of the pens are stamped out of raw brass sheets. A high-speed and high-impact industrial press uses pressure to stamp out hundreds of tips per minute with great accuracy. Step 3. Injection molding the melted plastic is injected into molds to create the pen barrel, cap, and other components. The molds have the specific shape and dimensions of the different parts of the pen. Step 4. Cooling and Injection The molded parts are cooled to solidify the plastic. Once cooled, the molds are opened, and the parts are ejected with the help of an ejection pin. Step 5. Ball and Socket Assembly Ball Production the raw material for balls is tungsten carbide. Tungsten carbide is a tough and durable material, ideal for ballpoint pen tips. It is ground into a fine powder and molded into small balls using isostatic pressing, which applies pressure to the powder from all sides, creating uniform and dense metallic balls. The balls are then honed to a precise sphere, using a combination of abrasives and polishing compounds to remove imperfections from their surface. Socket Production The sockets are the housing that hold the ball and are made of brass. A die is used to create the exact shape of the sockets during the stamping process. Once the sockets are stamped out, they are transformed into cylinders by a forming press that applies pressure to the sockets, causing them to take on a cylindrical shape. Assembly the balls are inserted into the sockets, and they are mechanically locked together by the crimping press that applies pressure to the sockets, causing them to close tightly around the balls. Step 6. Ink Filling The ink is injected into the plastic chambers under controlled conditions and parameters, ensuring that the right amount is filled. The ink chambers are sealed to prevent leakage while writing. Step 7. Refill Assembly the ink-filled chambers are asserted into the pen barrels. The other components, such as the spring and plunger, are also added. The cap and clip are attached to the pen barrels, completing the pen assembly. Step 8. Quality Control Each pen undergoes over 70 inspection processes throughout production to ensure it meets quality standards. This may involve checking the smoothness of the ball movement, ink flow, and overall functionality. The inspection process uses various methods, including visual inspection, microscopy, and x-ray testing. If even one out of 5,000 ball points is flawed, the entire batch is rejected. Step 9. Packaging and Distribution The automatic packaging machine packages the pens into boxes or blister packs. The boxes or blister packs often contain multiple pens. The packaged pens are then transported for distribution to retailers, wholesalers, and other customers worldwide. Still curious about how big ballpoints can draw a line about 2 kilometers long? 
It's because the ink cartridge in a big ballpoint pen is relatively large, typically holding about 0.5 milliliters of ink. The ballpoint tip in a big ballpoint pen is very small, typically about 0.7 millimeters in diameter. This means that the ink is applied very thinly, which helps extend the amount of ink that can be used before the pen runs out. My favorite big ballpoint is Revolution Oceanbound 73% Recycled Plastic Ball Pen. Tell us in the comments section which big ballpoint pen is your favorite. Thank you for watching this episode. Hit like and subscribe to the channel for more fantastic videos.